Hey all, Noons here. Welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and address some concerns or questions that I've had some people ask me on my channel. That if they switch to FR Sky, what do they do with all the planes that they run other receivers? Well, I got the answer for you guys, and that's the iRange X IRX4 Lite. This is a 2.4 gigahertz 4-in-1 TX module. This thing, it, I mean, it runs a lot of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and lay a picture over here. This thing will run your Spectrum receivers, even those receivers to those little toy helicopters that you would buy in the mall a few years ago, or those little toy cars. This thing will run it, guys. So, everybody was saying that they want to go ahead and move to FR Sky, but they're invested into the Spectrum or the Futaba, more the Spectrum people, that they don't want to have to buy all new receivers. Well, you don't, y'all. If you buy the radio, all you do is you buy this uh, TX module right here. They're around $40. And we're going to go ahead and go through today what you get in here and what Lewis script you need in the radio to go ahead and run this externally. So let's get started. Okay, everybody. Right here in the box, we got our IRX4 Lite 2.4 gigahertz 4-in-1 TX module from iRange X. This is how you get it, very generic box, but it's what's inside is the goodies. Right there, we got in the sealed pack, we have our transmitter and our antenna. And it looks like we got a little guide right here. Let's take a look at it. Apologies for the air conditioner. It is hot in Arizona. And there we are, the list of all the protocols that it tells you that it runs. And the introduction, the parameters, and how to use. And we're going to go ahead and show how we get the Lewis scripts and to get this thing operational. But first, let's go ahead and free this out of its package. And there you go. We have our TX module. And as you can see, it is a smaller one. This is to fit in the back of the radio. It is not a boxer style, it is a JR style. Or the smaller style, should I say. You have your antenna. We're gonna simply screw this on. And there she is. Now let's go ahead and get to the computer and show you what else we gotta do to it. Real simple. All right, y'all, now to get the Lewis script, we're just going to go ahead and search FR Sky Ethos Multi. Hit enter. First thing that comes up right here, it's on the GitHub site. This is where it'll take you. We'll go back here to the Ethos Feedback Community. And here you should be on this page. And we're looking for Lua for our Lua scripts. And here you go, they got all the Lua scripts. They got the Crossfire, Express LRS, the FSR Sky Module, the Ghost. And this is the one we want to deal with right here. And it is multi, lowercase M-U-L-T-I. And that is important for what we're going to go ahead and do. We'll click that. And the file is lowercase main dot Lua. And here is the file, so to speak. So we can't just go ahead and put this in a radio. We're gonna go ahead and use Notepad. So if you see right here, it says raw, copy raw file, download raw file. We wanna copy the raw file. It says copied, we'll minimize this. Cancel out of that. And we'll go over here to search. It comes up on my computer. You just go ahead and type in Notepad. We'll go ahead and open it up. And we have a blank. So then what we'll do is we'll do control V. That is the file that we want right there. Now before I move on, I keep it simple. I go to my desktop, I go to new folder. And remember it was multi lowercase M U L T I is what we're going to name the folder. All right. Now that we got, our copy and paste here of our raw file and we created our folder named multi we're gonna do a save as so we're gonna go file save as right here where it says text documents we want to select all files 
File name will be M-A-I-N dot L-U-A main dot Lua. We will find our desktop right here to select our multi folder, which is right here, all files, main.lua. We will click save. We can go ahead and close this out. We will verify our file folder has a file and it does. We'll close that out. Next, we're gonna get our radio and we're gonna turn it on to bootloader mode. And but to do that, we're gonna push and hold our center button here and our power button and we're in bootloader mode and we're gonna hook up our USB to this uh, laptop and get this onto the transmitter. We got our radio on bootloader mode. We have our cable. And these are the two windows that pop up. You have two windows. One that just has two file folders, fonts and bitmaps. That's not the one that we wanna deal with. We want this one right here that has the scripts folder. So what I like to do is go into the scripts folder and these are the scripts that you currently have on the radio. For me, I just have the SRX stabilization. You wanna take that multi folder and drop it right in there. So it should just look just like that. So if you open up the SRX stable, there's your little uh, main Lua. Same thing with our multi, has our main Lua. Now I X out of here, X out of there, safely remove my drives, good to go. All right, let's disconnect the radio and let's join back. All right, y'all, we have a radio, we have our TX model. On the back of the radio, I'm using the TX14S right here. You can use your X20 or whatever you have. You're gonna go ahead and pop out that plate in the back to expose the pins. You have this bad boy, and if you can see right there, there's these little grooves and these little pins. Be careful when you're seating this, you don't wanna smash the pins. What I do is I get it right about right there, line it up, and make sure it's seating flush. Okay, important it's seating flush. Rest it on the pins, and it should just take one good, and that's it. If it's forcing on, guys, you're doing it wrong. So just rest it flush and pop it on. Now let's get this thing and see if it works. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and turn on the radio. Welcome to Ethos. Throttle not idle. Fail safe not set. We'll Switch disregard warning. that. And I have it as a twin liner. We'll go here to model select. I'll go to my test model. Select. Not idle. Switch warning. All right. Now for this model right here, guys, all we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into RF setup. So we'll go to model. We'll scroll on over. And as you can see, we have internal module and external module. We want to select the external module. And the state is on. Now, hopefully, if we did it right, underneath here, type, we should see our multi-module in here. Right there. Multi. And if you scroll over here, you will see that it shows Spectrum, SLT, Sitmax, Scanner, just all these different types. We'll go down to Spectrum. And under Protocol, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of protocols, DSM2, DSMX, all uh, sub ones. If you go down to Auto, that'll get you about 95% uh, to bind in, unless it's like the really older receivers. All right, y'all, that was it. Like I said, very simple. Now, in the next video, we're actually going to go ahead and buy this thing to an aircraft. I think I'm going to go ahead and use my Valiant, so stay tuned. Noon's out.